Hey, what's going on? My name is Juan. Thank you for checking out Genesis Quick Tips. In this episode, we're going to take a look at creating a full width page template. Now, the method we're going to use does not actually use the Genesis function. I came across this method a year or so ago uh, in a blog post by Bill Erickson. So all credit goes to Bill. Link to the blog post will be in the description below. So to start off, we need to create a page template directory and a full width.php file. So within our root, we'll create a new file. And that will be in the page templates and full width.php. So um, if this directory does not exist, PHP Storm will create it for us. So within the full width.php file, let's go ahead and stub out our um, our template. So we'll first start with template name. And we'll call this full width. So generally when creating a page template within Genesis, you will pass it the Genesis function. But in our case, we're going to manually get the header and get the footer. So between the header and footer, we will add a custom action. We'll do that with do action and we'll pass in the name of our action, which would be uh, full with content. So let's go to the top and we can actually, and let's hook into that action. And we could pass it um, a function. So we can, we'll pass it do full with content. And we'll create that function now. So now we need to go ahead and create the WordPress page. So within WordPress, I created a full width template page, and now we could assign our template full width. We'll go ahead and update that. Let's take a look at the front end. As you can see, we got our test output here, our header and our footer. So now let's go ahead and add some content. So here you can actually use um, ACF or CMB2 to create some custom meta boxes. Um, but for now, we're gonna use custom fields. And if you do not see this meta box, go ahead and head to the top and you can uh, toggle it off and on here. So let's go ahead and create a few fields. Full width content one, and we are going to paste in some lorem ipsum. All right, so that's some lorem ipsum. Uh, we'll go add a couple more. We'll do full width content two, and we'll do one more. Full width content three paste in some more content and update. So now let's go to our page template so we can output that information. Let's go ahead and use the Genesis get custom field function and we could pass in the name of the field which is full width content one. And let's echo that and refresh. And now we got the, uh, the first. So in order to make this full width, we gotta do a few things. First off, we need to go ahead and hook into the body class. So we'll add a filter it would be body class and we can pass in a function which is going to be add full with body class and just below we'll create that function and we want to pass it classes and within this filter we want to grab the classes array and append our full width template. We'll call it full width template. And then we finally want to return classes. So let's take a look at what this does. So if we refresh and we inspect the element, we'll go to our body. As you can see here, we now got a full width template. Okay, you wanna be sure to pass in an array. So the two brackets, cause if not, um, this filter will not work because you'll be overriding the classes filter. What you actually want to do is append the full width template onto the classes variable instead of overriding it completely. So just be sure to add the brackets. Okay, so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to add theme support for the Genesis structural wrap. So add theme support, and we're going to do the Genesis, Genesis structural wraps, and we want to pass in an array, and we want to pass in what elements we want to be wrapped. So we want the header, footer widgets and the footer we are going to exclude the site inner oftentimes when you're using this wrap you want to actually include the, the site inner but in our case we want to exclude the site inner and what that does is if we take a look in the front end and we'll go to site inner as you can see within site inner there is this wrap which contains everything but we want to we want to actually get rid of this wrap. So if we save, 
and refresh and we find site enter once again um, there is no wrap so now we have a site enter and straight to the content so that's what we want and the last thing we need to do is inside of our style sheet we'll go to the layout so the reason we added a custom class to the body and remove the wrap is to make this full width if you see now the site inner actually has a margin on the left and right because it's constrained to a, a width of 1200 pixels so we want to remove that constraint and allow it to flow full width so to do that we need to change some styles up so we can go into our layout.scss file and target the full width template and within here we could target the site inner and we could change the max width to 100% so let's go ahead and open our terminal and run grunt so as soon as that's done compiling let's go ahead and refresh our front end so now our content is taking out the full width of the site so we actually don't want our content to take the full width but we do want to actually assign a background color to some of these sections so let's go back to our page template and instead of just echoing that right out we will close PHP and we'll start using some HTML so we'll run section with the class of uh, full width section so we we'll use full width section to target all sections and then we will in the within here we will open up PHP and we can echo Genesis get custom field and full content one alright so we created one section with the full width section one class and we'll echo out the contents of the uh, the first custom field so let's go ahead and copy that and paste that two more times and we will change dash one to dash two and dash one to dash three so now we'll grab first second and third content let's go and take a look at that so now that we are pulling in all three of our custom fields we want to actually constrain the content within the wrap so in order to do that we will let's go ahead and target all three of these and div class b div class wrap okay so basically what i did was i created uh the section i added the wrap within each section and then we echo out the content so if we take a look at that now we have it constrained within our container okay so next thing we want to do is actually add some styles to separate all this content so we'll go back to the layout and we want to target the full width section we'll just add some padding set uh some padding to the top and bottom and then we can refresh so now they all have some content and we can do text align center so now we can target each individual section and give it a custom background color so how about for one section we'll do this this blue here so we can go so we can target um full with section one and we could change the background color to this blue so we actually need to add a period to target the class and now you can see we got a full width so we actually need to change the color to white and let's do this for all sections let's go with okay so we got a dark blue for the first let's go with red change this a little bit and like a pastel red we'll do that choose and for this we will actually use maybe a green we actually need to change the class name so we got to target section one two and three with different colors and come and refresh so now we have this full width layout and we have three sections all different colors and all of our content is contained within the site container and but it, we give this look of a full width page template so so just to make this look a bit better we are going to let's go ahead and create some columns right so we'll do this and 
div class one half and first so we'll, we'll just use some genesis uh we can just use the genesis column classes so that's div one half and one half and here we'll go ahead and div class of one fourth close that div we gotta add first here div class of one fourth and we'll just go ahead and paste this a few times we'll have a two column layout four column layout and a full width layout so this is where the custom meta boxes will actually come in handy um typing this out looks a bit sloppy but if so if you wanted to use cmb2 or acf um to make this look a bit better and add a WYSIWYG or something that make things a little bit better and let's take a look at it now so now we have two columns four columns and a one column layout and you could style this individually um, add padding to all of them so that'll do it for this episode of genesis quick tips hopefully you learned something new so as always you could reach me at wp zombies on twitter and leave any thoughts or suggestions in the comments below thanks for watching